Do you have any problem to fix your Foxconn motherboard problems? Do you have any kind of issues you are, uh, in your Foxconn's motherboard? Do you want to boot your Foxconn's motherboard using any kind of USB uh, drive? So if you are also searching that kind of video, you are in the right video. In this video, I'll tell you how can you boot the Foxconn motherboard using USB drive, okay? So you have to watch this video until the last. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are watching this video first time, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube uh, YouTube channel and don't forget to press in the bell icon also. I love to share uh, this kind of technology related video in this channel. So that's why you can subscribe my YouTube channel. And I want to give thank you to all of my subscribers who are, who are subscribing my YouTube channel. And uh, please share this video too among the people who are facing this problem so hoping that you will share this video so without any late let's begin our tutorial so first of all i'm going to make a bootable pen drive and you will learn how can you make a bootable pen drive using your pc okay so let's check our computer screen so if you don't know how can you make a bootable usb drive so you can watch this video so for this you need a, a rufus software okay so i am just opening this one so right click and just you have to click is uh sorry uh, right click and just click in the run as administrator so i'm clicking the uh, run as administrator and just click in the yes and after this after a few minutes your rufus will uh open so how can you download the rufus uh, if you don't know how can you download the rufus you can uh, check my description i'm giving you the download link of this rufus so in this time i'm using the rufus 3.61551 version so first of all you have to choose the device okay uh, okay then after this just you have to select a uh, device uh, and just wait for a moment i am just uh, uh, booting my computer with Windows 7 that's why I'm just clicking in here uh, Windows 7 okay so from here now you can see there is a, a target system that is BIOS or, or UEFI system so in this time uh, it's okay for me and I'm just giving the name so I'm just giving Windows 7 bootable uh, bootable drive okay after this i am just clicking in the start and it's asking me warning all data and device uh, will be destroyed okay to continue with this operation click ok so i am just clicking ok and after few minutes it's deleting and it's clearing all the my uh, data uh, from my pen drive it's uh, creating a, a system and after few uh, few minutes it will create a bootable pen drive for you now you can see here is copying isd card now you can see my uh, pen drive also already opened now you can see it's it's copying all the files it will take a few minutes okay now you can see my starter is ready after this my bootable uh, cd has been uh, sorry bootable pen drive has been completed now you can see here is the set of file is completely uh, prepared and now if I went in the my computer now you can see here is a okay Windows uh, and bootable drive which is available inside my computer okay so after this I am just uh, going to right click and eject okay and now uh, now I'll use this pen drive uh, to boot my computer okay so after using this uh, using this USB uh, so I am going to boot my uh, computer so now after uh, preparing your bootable USB drive okay you have to follow all these uh, steps to boot your computer so this is my old computer uh, now you can see here is nothing inside there is too much dust also available inside in my hard drive uh, okay so now I'm going to boot this one, okay? So now I'm going to on this one. So it's turning on. It's a Foxconn motherboard. As you can see here, Windows is starting. 
and the fan sound also looking too much good first of all I need to check the USB is uh, USB is detected by my PC or not so I am just going to open this one ok so this is my window PC ok so after this I am just going to refresh this one and I am opening the uh, windows key. now you can see here there is a bootable CD available right there ok so I am going to uh, use that one so I am again going to in the start button and I am going to in the shut down ok so now I am going to press in the delete button ok so now you, you can see here uh, now boot uh, option is available here so from here uh, now I, I have to go in the advanced bias feature now you can see there is lots of plots uh, option available there is CPU L1 or L2 cache enabled hyper 3D, 3D ring technology also enabled and first boot device is hard disk so in this time I should to change this one so first of all enter and just click in the USB CD ROM okay or just you have to use the removable because I am using the removable USB disk right and the second boot device should be hard disk so just go to into a hard disk now you can see my first uh, boot device is removable and second boot device is hard disk okay and third should be anything else so I am just using the CD ROM okay after this boot other device enabled boot of floppy disk 6 is disabled okay after this just press F10 button okay in the keyboard just press F10 button and it's asking me save or not so I want to save that's why I am pressing enter now you can see it's uh, saving and my PC is restarting okay and just press to enter I'm just pressing the enter button okay so it's giving the booting option so I'm pressing the F1 button and I'm pressing the all plus F10 okay now now you can see here this is the boot menu available okay uh, which is uh, displaying in my monitor so there is removable floppy disk also available because it's old computer right so that's why the floppy disk also available here and the hard disk now you can see there is a uh, three hard disks available uh, i think this is the hard disk which is uh, of my computer and this is my sand disk it's mean this is my pen drive bootable pen drive and bootable add-in cards okay so you can use C uh, cd rom usb cd rom legacy land real tech boot easy but in this case i am using the bootable pen drive that's why i have to choose in these options and i have to press enter now you can see uh, my new window is opening just wait for a moment now you can see my windows is loading files okay so after this just wait for a moment it will take some time after windows is loading files so now you can see my starting windows uh, starting window is um, opening here uh, in the below there is a Microsoft uh, corporations also available okay so just wait for a moment so now you can see here is a, a screen available inside my computer so now you can see now after this uh, just you have to wait uh, for some times it depends on your computer ram size right if your computer ram size is not good properly that uh, uh, in that case it will take some time but if your ram speed is good in that case uh, it will be very fast also so now you can see after a long time this window is uh, came and my computer screen this is windows 7 you can choose the language you can choose the time and currency okay and after you use you can choose the keyboard to the, uh, or input method okay so it's okay for me that's why i'm just clicking in the next now just click in the install now okay so it's uh, telling me that setup is starting okay so it will take some time because my uh, ram is not good uh, in this time that's why uh, it's doing everything is slowly now you can see 
my setup is starting I'm going to tell you uh, 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 one of the important thing uh, when you are making a bootable pen drive in that case you have to uh, make uh, your pen drive in the UEFI mode okay if you didn't make it in the UEFI mode it will not work that's why you have to make in the UEFI mode okay so now you can see here so I have to accept all the terms and condition now or you can read this one okay there is a uh, lots of lots of terms and condition available here you can read this one okay so but I don't want to read but if you have time you can read this one uh, the all the uh, license terms so after this just click in the next uh, and there is two options available one is uh, the first option is upgrade other is custom so I'm just clicking in the custom because I don't want to upgrade that's why so now you can see there is two discs available okay disc 0 partition 1 and another is disc 0 partition 2 new volume so in this time uh, there is a system uh, which is uh, in the disc 0 partition 1 it's mean that is C drive so I am just clicking in the drive option and I am just formatting this one or you can delete this also and if you want to merge both you, you have to delete uh, both drive and it will be one okay after this you have to click in the new but I don't want to show that one because there, there is some important document inside my disk zero partition 2 so I am just clicking in the disk zero partition 1 and I am just clicking in the format and here is a, a warning uh, the Partitions might contain recovery files, system files, or important software from your computer manufacturer. If you format this partition, any data store on it will be lost. But uh, this time, I'm just clicking on the OK. Now it's formatting. It will take some time. Okay. So it it depends on your RAM speed. So now you can see my formatting also completed. After this, just click in the Next button. Now you can see my uh installing windows is uh working after a uh, few minutes it will work now you can see it's the expanding windows file in my system now you can see my installing features and installing update is complete now windows needs to restart to continue it's telling me that it will take uh some seconds four seconds three seconds two seconds one second boom so now it's starting so now you can see my foxconn windows is uh, displaying here so i think it's restarting so now you can see uh, setup is updating uh, registry settings it's telling me like that uh, so i think it will take some time setup is updating my registry setting so it's telling me that uh, completing installations boom now it's completed so now i'm pressing again f1 button okay so it's restarting and now you can see here it's telling me that verify dmi dmi pool data again okay now there is a usb storage device sandix it's also telling me like that id channel 3 master dix it's telling me like that okay so my windows is starting So it will take some time okay so after this I think I should to use my uh, username okay uh, and uh, the password and the uh, so I think I should to use the activation key also in this process if you are a, a Windows 8 or Windows 10 user in that case also you can uh, boot your device in the same ways so my Windows is starting it's telling that setup is preparing your uh, computer for first use okay so it's preparing my computer for uh, for my first use it will take some time okay uh, now you can see yeah it's telling me that setup is checking video performance so it's checking my video performance also right now so wait for a moment so now finally it's finished so it's asking me the username so i'm just giving uh, the username computer 4 <coughs> so i'm just giving the computer 4 okay then after this just uh, clicking in the next 
it's asking me the password you can use it or if you don't want you, you cannot use also in this time i'm not using the password so i'm just clicking the next now it's it's uh, it's asking me the product id so now i'm just using the product id here okay so uh so after this just click in the next so now you you can see here there is a help protect uh, your computer and improve windows automatically in this time i'm just clicking in the accelerator it's uh, it's asking me the time zone so i'm from nepal that's why i'm choosing the time zone just wait for a moment so here is the Kathmandu so I'm doing this one after this just click in the next and it's telling me that Windows 7 professional Windows is featuring so now you can see it's telling me that welcome so now my uh, boot is complete hoping that you understand how can you boot your uh, Foxconn uh, motherboard which is using the Intel processor okay uh, this is the old computer uh, and it's uh, maybe only using the 1 GB RAM only so hoping that you understand okay if you have still any kind of confusion let me know in the comment sections okay now you can see here it's telling me that preparing your desktop after few seconds it will it will uh, show my screen like this okay now you, now you can see here it's showing my showing me my uh, computer screen okay so now my boot is complete that's it so thank you so much for watching this video hoping that you understand to boot your foxconn motherboard using pen drive so thank you so much for watching this video i'll meet with you on the video hoping that you understand something about the boot uh in foxconn's motherboard using pen drive so thank you so much for watching this video once again i'll meet with you on another video goodbye see you again